Okay guys, I'm uh, going to do a review for you today. This is going to be of the firebox. Uh, I got um, my hands on one of the fireboxes. This uh, one has the, the heavier cover. This is Kodora cover on it. You can see the firebox logo there. This one is actually designed so you can store tinder and uh, whatever you want in there. So you can put birch bark or uh, maybe some Vaseline, cotton wool balls, anything you want, just in there as a wee tinder box. And um, got a wee cotton cover that houses the firebox. So, um, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out, set it up, and uh, show you how easy it is to put up. And then uh, you'll see how I'm implementing it into it. Okay guys, this is how you get the firebox, all nicely collapsed. And as of filming this video, this is brand spanking new. So um, it's never going to be as clean and tidy as that again. But here you go. And uh, very simple to take it apart. Just remove your wee fire sticks. And the basic instructions tell you just to open this as you would a book. And your ash pan detaches. Finish folding it out, and this is your fuel. Uh, so like a wee grate. There's your fuel grate there. So just pull that down and push, and it'll click into place. So that's your firebox basically done. You can then pop in your ash pan if you wish, just by sliding it in the bottom grate here. and leaving it just like so. Now as you can see on the side you have a couple of wee sort of wind flaps there if you wish. Your sticks then you can use them. The top of your firebox just like here for a pot stand. You can also put them in the bottom and these wee diamond slots and what you can have them there for is if you're using like some an alcohol stove or um, some sort of other burner you can have your burner sitting there if you wish and then you have your um, your heat source closer to your pot um, or if you wish if your fire is not going to be massive you can actually set your pot lower on that there as well with the ash pan you can actually set it on the top if you want to burn uh, something like the hexi blocks they recommend if you're going to burn them just take our pins out now you can set your ash pan here light your hexi blocks there and burn it like that so you have a nice raised platform your hexi blocks in there your pot on top and you're cooking away. So that's another configuration you can have. For lighting it there's a few um, thoughts, thought processes on it. You can actually just get your cotton wool, your Vaseline, whatever way you want to ignite, set it in there, strike from there. If you wish you can get a set your tinder there, get a lighter, light from the bottom, then put your ash pan in. Some people stack all their fuel here just in the bottom light it and then gently tip up so there's multiple different ways that you can light your firebox and very easily to compact it after your fire is uh, gone out you just push from the bottom let that flip up close it over Click all that in, slide your two fire piston or your fire sticks in, and there you go, there's your firebox folded up. Now the weight on this, it is a weight enough item, it's about one kilogram, um, which it, it is heavy, heavy carrying, but look, look how thin that is. That's half an inch, so 
you're having a compact stove, I can live with the weight. I'm going to compare this to what I'm carrying currently, so you can see the difference. Now, as you guys have seen before, this is my Max Petition uh, Jumbo Versapack. This is my Woodland EDC bag, so uh, this is kitted out as is at the minute without the firebox. So going inside, this is my current stove, very basic hobo stove that I made myself, um, just out of a a wee um, utensil uh, for when you're washing up your, your crockery just to put your utensils in there and just cut the, the hole out of the side of it. Very, very rough, but that is the size that I'm currently carrying. Now I've got this. And the size difference, there is no comparison for sizes. Look how small, how thin the firebox is compared to the hobo stove. Now, yes, um, we're gonna balance off the price of that there. You can probably pick that up for two or three pounds, make it yourself. But with this, um, it's more versatile because it's smaller, more compact. I can put more stuff in my bag now. With this, I was then limited to what um, size. So I can actually, in my Versa pack, hide the firebox away in the secret compartment in the back which gives me the whole of the main compartment to fill up and I'll show that for you. So having the firebox packed away in the Kodura pouch here and so you can have a room area there for tinder. We've got our cotton bag that comes with it as standard uh, but we've got the upgrade for the, the nicer um, carrier for it. So here we go, nice and flat and compact. Let's now integrate it into our system. These are our pegs that we have for our shelter and for our stove. Slip the firebox in. It's gone, disappeared. Slip our knife back in. Our saw back in. Our pegs back in, gone. Now look, I have this whole compartment now to fill up. All of that room. And I can comfortably hold all my camera gear. I could probably put a fleece in there as well, um, or an extra t-shirt, or I can put um, a sh another shelter in there. I can put a bivy bag in there. Uh, I can make that into a, a complete overnight bag um, with all that room. Just the possibilities now I've completely opened up for this sort of kit because I've got my firebox hidden in the back. So let's uh, fire it up and um, just show you how the firebox operates. Okay guys, we've got our cotton wool and Vaseline ready to go. So what we're going to do is just going to light it off of a fire steel and uh, go from there. Push our fire lighter in, tip our fire box up and our fire is lit. Now we can dump in some tinder Look at the size of the, the flames. We've got nice airflow going all the way around the firebox. So from all angles, we've got nice control over it.
we can feed our fuel just into the top. I'm just gonna pop our sticks on the top. Half a cup of water, half a liter of water, I think, in there. Stick our lid on, and off we go. And again, you can see how much the firebox is actually drawing in from everywhere, every single angle. You can see it's drawing in air. Just making that burn like nothing normal. Even with our pot on, we can just keep adding fuel into the top. Just drop it down the sides. There you go guys, away. can't recommend the firebox highly enough, it's unbelievably fuel efficient, we love it when the stuff gets blackened. I think it's done. Titanium handles. There we are, guys. Unbelievable. Really, the heat off that is incredible. Just how efficient it just burns everything. There's no loss of heat, it's just really intense. And it's, it's a brilliant bit of kit. Highly recommended.